Welcome to part two of Let's Play Appointment with Fear by Steve Jackson. At the end of the last part, I was on paragraph 386. Let's reread this as a reminder. Okay, in the personal column of the newspaper, you find an interesting snippet which reads, Richard Storm, all is forgiven. How was I to know she was a private nurse? Phone me on 555-9999. Love, Susan. A private nurse? What is this all about? If you now want to proceed to the bank as the Silver Crusader, turn to 112. If you want to go to work, turn to 341. Okay, we are going to proceed to the bank as the Silver Crusader and turn to 112. The police and bank officials fall silent as you step through the door of the bank. Do you wish to interrogate the branch manager of the bank? Turn to 420. Uh, the chief detective investigating the case? Turn to 323. Or the security guard? Turn to 259. Um, we are going to interrogate the, the chief detective investigating the case and turn to 323. Here we go. The chief detective is contemptuous about superheroes. In his eyes, rather in his eyes, fighting crime is a job for the police, not for what he calls amateur detectives. Nevertheless, you do find some information. I'll start again. Nevertheless, you do find some information about the event. The alchemists, masters of advanced chemistry, had neutralized the alarm with some sort of acidic gas which delayed its being activated as they forced their way in. Another unknown compound had dissolved the security lock on the main door. Why the security guard had not noticed the intruders was still a mystery which would only be solved when the time lock released him from the vault. But now he assures you that the situation is well under control in his hands. There is no need for any amateur in fancy pants to get involved. Turn to 60. Just before you leave, you talk to one of the police officers who lives near Starker's Beach. There are reports of the sighting of a giant sorry again, there are reports of the sighting of a giant shark just off the beach, and he would be grateful if you would investigate it. He has two children who swim every weekend and he is worried about their safety. You tell him you'll look into it. If you wish to go to the beach straight away, turn to seventy two. If not, turn to ninety eight. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Um, we are not, so we're going to turn to 98. Oh, here we are. As you leave the bank, you hear a bleeping coming from your wrist. Your crime watch is receiving a message from Jerry the Grass. Uh, the electronic voice speaks two words, Parker Airport. If you want to head straight away to the airport, turn to 410. If, on the other hand, you have still not finished with the alchemist, you may, uh, you may be heading somewhere else. If this is the case, deduct the avenue number from the street number and turn to this reference. Okay, we are going to go to Parker Airport and turn to 410. You arrive at Parker Airport and ask the nearest security guard whether something is happening. The Silver Crusader, he gasps. Thank goodness you're here. Follow me, I'll take you to the control tower. You follow him up into the control tower where you find the police bu where you find the place buzzing with activity. The air traffic controller greets you nervously. Have you heard? No, the police are on their way. Some guy calling himself the Tormentor has hijacked a DC-10 full of passengers to London. He's mad. No demands, nothing. Says he'll crash the plane. Blames it all on Susan. We don't know what to do. A complete nutter. Is there anything you can do? Is there anything you can do? If Susan means anything to you, turn to 141. If not, you can use your powers. If you have super strength, turn to 84. If you have psi powers, turn to 216. Otherwise, turn to, turn to 176. 
Okay, there we go. Okay, um, Susan does mean something to us, so we're going to turn to 141. That's irritating. Okay, it's down below. If this name means anything to you, you will have a seven-digit telephone number. Add all the seven digits together and turn to this reference. Okay, so it was five 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 nine 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 nine. Well, three fives are fifteen. Four nines are thirty-six. Fifteen add thirty-six is fifty-one. So we're going to turn to fifty-one. Okay. Uh, you call up Susan and the young woman answers the phone. She bursts into tears when you tell her what is happening and she agrees to come to the airport straight away. An hour later she arrives. Susan Blythe is, a, is young, attractive and distressed at what is happening. She agrees to talk to the tormentor over the radio. Richard, she sobs. Richard, it's me, Susan. There is a pause before a man's voice answers. Susan, what are you doing there? What are you doing there? Oh, Richard, she answers, don't do this. These people have done nothing to you, and I know that the girl was a private nurse now. But how was I to know at the time? Gripping stuff, you think. But at least she's getting through to him. Ten minutes later, she has talked him out of his original plan. He agrees to land the plane safely, which he does, amid great cheers from the control tower staff. If you have super strength, turn to 35, otherwise turn to 285. Okay, we have super strength, so we're turning to 35. Uh, you hand the tormentor over to the authorities and he is bundled off into a waiting police car. Uh, you stoop to pick up a piece of paper which seems to have fallen from his pocket. Opening it up, you find it appears to be a note scribbled down, perhaps from a telephone conversation. The note is ripped in half. Underlined at the top of the paper is FEA. Under this is a message which reads, Meeting on 27th this month. You consider this for a moment. Fold the paper up and tuck it into your belt. You may add two hero points. Turn to ten. Okay, so the meeting is on the 27th. So let's write that down. Um, meeting on 27th. I'll just say Monday 27th. Uh, and uh, we have two hero points. I forgot to add that in there. So I'll just say hero points here. So we have two. Brilliant. Okay, brilliant. Okay, let's move on. I'll stop saying brilliant now. Okay, 10. Let's go to 10. You leave the airport and head for home. What a day. You slump into a chair in front of the TV and relax with a long, cold drink. You may add six stamina points for the rest. One thing disturbs you. Your boss, Jonah White, will be livid when you turn up for work tomorrow. You will have to invent some pretty convincing excuses. Now, the next morning, you set off to work early. You decide to travel by subway to make sure you get to work on time. But since when has a superhero's life ever been easy? Help, shouts a voice further up the crowded carriage. Pickpocket. Oh no, just what you needed. You force your way through the crowd on the busy train. As you reach the pickpocket's victim, that familiar beep, beep, beep sounds from your crime watch. Its electronic voice speaks. Rad square, hurry, you sigh, but what will you do? The train is pulling into a station and you will have to change trains quickly. If you are to reach Rad, uh, change trains quick. Um, the train is pulling into a station and you will have to change trains immediately if you are to reach Rad Square quickly. If you want to do this, turn to 201. If you want to apprehend the pickpocket, turn to 185. Okay, we are going to apprehend the pickpocket and turn to 185. Uh, you rush up to a puny looking bespectacled blimey. You rush up to a puny looking bespectacled man who is shaking with fright. There he cries, pointing to a man running up through the next carriage. He 
He's stolen my wallet. He race after him. No one else moves. They don't want to get involved. If only you could change into the Silver Crusader. Roll two dice and compare the total with your skill score. If the total is less than or equal to your skill, turn to 166. If the total is greater than your skill, turn to 106. Okay, there we go. There's, there's the pickpocket. Is that the anarchist symbol? Oh, how cliche. Anyway, um... Okay, so our skill is um, 13, so we need to roll two dice, but this is a formality, really. Yeah, we get a six. No buzzing, good. Um, yeah, go back. Yeah, less than equal to your skill, 266. You gain ground and catch up with the pickpocket. As you grab him, he spins around to face you and draws out a knife. You will have to fight him with your bare hands, as you cannot risk revealing yourself as the Silver Crusader. Pickpocket, skill 7, stamina 6. If you defeat him, turn to 296. Okay, so we're fighting a pickpocket. Pickpocket. Skill 7, stamina 6. Okay, I think this is the same deal as before, isn't it? So let's, I'll just check there just in case. 166 we're on. Oh yeah, we have to get him to, to two or fewer, don't we? Yeah. And if we kill him, we lose a hero point or, or something. Yeah, so we have to get him to two or one stamina points or something, don't we? Okay, so it's, it's the same kind of deal as before, but we just can't kill him because morality and all that. Okay, um, right, so roll him first. So 7 plus 9 is uh, 16. I get uh, 24. So 16 to 24. Oops. Done it again. I must say, on my new laptop, it's difficult to read the numbers on the, or the letters or whatever on the keys. They're sort of, the laptop's sort of silvery grey, and the keys, the letters and stuff are written in dark grey, making it slightly hard to see, even without my glasses. No, even, even with my glasses, I should say. Anyway, that puts him down to four. Um, not that I wear my glasses often, but, you know. Anyway, um, uh, Oh yeah, rolling for him now, aren't we? Okay, 7 plus 5 is 12. I get um, 20. So 12 to 20. Puts him down to 2. Okay, he should give himself up now. I can't kill him, can I, because of morality. If you defeat him, turn to 296. You go through the man's pockets to retrieve the wallet. He is car sorry to pick up the microphone again. Uh, he is carrying some peculiar things, no doubt the pickings of his trade. Along with the wallet, you find a cigarette packet which contains a crumpled piece of paper, a tape cassette, and a map. Before handing the pickpocket over to a security guard on the train, you manage to take one of these one of these from him. Which did you take? The cigarette packet turned to 423, the, the cassette tape turned to 281, or the map turned to third, bleh, turned to 20. Okay, we're going to take the cassette tape. Um, and so turn to 281. Okay, let me just say I've taken the cassette tape. Uh, equipment cassette tape. Oakley Doakley. Right. You sit down next to a kid listening to a Walkman and borrow it to listen to the tape. It seems to be a recording of a telephone conversation between a man and a woman. The conversation ends. Don't worry, the treasures are being collected and replaced by our agent, Mustafa. Uh, Mustafa Karim. We will have them all soon. Remember, we meet the day after tomorrow on board the yacht. Okay, bye. Interesting stuff. This Mustafa Karim, 
Why can't I say that? This Mustafa Kareem sounds like a dubious character. If you come across him, you may question him about his activities by doubling the reference number you are on at the time and turning to this new reference. Add one luck point for discovering this message. Turn to 86. Okay, so I'll just write that clue down. Um, clue. Where, when I encounter... Mustafa Kareem, double the pay the paragraph reference and turn to that number. Okay, brilliant. Where's the microphone? There it is. Okay. Um, what am I doing now? Okay, we're turning to eighty six. The train stops at Grim Street Station and you get off to go to work. You try to settle into your desk discreetly. No such luck. Lafayette, get in here at once. I'll say that again, that was a bit wooden, sorry. Lafayette, get in here at once. No sooner had you stepped through the office door than Jonah White's booming voice summoned you. You creep into his office, mumbling scant excuses for being late yet again. Enough, he yells. What do you think we are running here? A charity? Do you suppose I should be grateful that you even grace us with your presence? Very noble of you indeed, even to bother coming in at all. Well, I tell you what, I'm feeling kind today. You can have the rest of the day off, without pay. And if you're not in first thing tomorrow morning, you can start looking for another job. You slink out of his office with your tail between your legs. How can you tell him what you've been doing? And now you've been suspended for a day. Where will you go? Will you spend the day at Wisneyland, the amusement park, turn to 15? Or will you go downtown, perhaps to do some shopping, turn to 202? Um, we're going to go to Wisneyland. Um, any relation or uh, to Disneyland is entirely coincidental, I'm sure. Anyway, we're going to go to Wisneyland and turn to 15. Wisneyland is swarming with holiday makers enjoying their day out at the amusement park. The smell of candy floss and hot dogs hangs in the air and as you stroll about, youngsters clutching stuffed animals run laughing past you. Screams of delight from roller coaster riders turning through the corkscrew break th turning through the corkscrew break through the general hubbub. You are going to enjoy yourself today. Which ride do you want to try? The Big Dipper, turn to 187. The Fun House, turn to 174. Or The Dodgems, turn to 357. And here is a picture of Wisneyland. That is one creepy looking kid. Now I want some ice cream and candy floss. Okay, um, we're going to go to the Fun House and turn to 174. Because it's wacky, fun and crazy. It's outrageous. Anyway, we're going to go to the fun house and turn to 174. It's a whole lot of fun, possibly prizes to be won. Okay. Okay, you pay the admission charge and enter the fun house. You walk along a narrow passageway. As you turn a dark corner, a luminous skeleton appears in front of you, shrieking wildly. You jump and then laugh, just one of the scares of the fun house. Further down the passage, your feet stumble on a wobbly floor. Then the walls begin to sway. Suddenly, your foot steps on something and you fall forwards. But this time, it is not a wobbly floor. You fall, um, this is not a wobbly floor. You fall through the ground and land on a rubber mattress in a dark pit. Although it is pitch black, you can tell that you are not alone. Another figure touches you. A voice calls out and you answer. Oh, thank God, someone else is here, gasps the man's voice. I have been here for two hours. I can't find a way out. And not only that, my wallet is gone. I'm sure it has been stolen. And I don't think this was any accident. My name is Grant Morley, a reporter on the Titan Times. I have been covering an expose to reveal the identity of the Scarlet Prankster. Earlier, I met an informant at the Big Wheel who gave me a key to one of the rooms here where he thought I could get some useful, in useful information. That key was in my wallet. 
You consider the situation. The Scarlet Prankster is a dangerous criminal who delights in grisly practical jokes. Uh, you decide to change into the Silver Crusader under cover of the pitch blackness. Then the two of you search the walls for a way out. You find a hidden door which lets you into the main room of the fun house. If you have super strength, turn to 248. If you have, if you have ETS, turn to 271. If you have Psi powers or Energy Blast, turn to 143. Okay, we have super strength, so we're turning to 248. If you want to check some of the special attractions of the fun house, turn to 143. Alternatively, you may know exactly where you want to look. If this is the case, you will know how to get there and you may go there immediately. Okay, so if you remember the clue that we, that we got before, um, when looking for the Scarlet Prankster, subtract 50 from the current reference. So we're going to do that now. Um, so we're going to do 248 minus 50 is 198. So we're going to turn to paragraph 198. Here we go. Uh, you fly up towards the central dome of the fun house. Sure enough, your information was correct. High up the wall of the fun house is a door. You alight, you alight outside the door, burst inside and startle a hunched figure dressed in a colorful jester's costume. Um, any relation to the Joker is entirely coincidental, I'm sure. Um, he grabs for a piece of paper on the table in front of him and tries to stuff it into his mouth, but you are too quick for him. Uh, you manage to stop him eating the paper and must now fight him. Scarlet Prankster, skill 9, stamina 8. If you defeat him, turn to 333. Okay, so... So Scarlet Prankster... Whoops. Skill 9, Stamina 8. Okay, yep, that was right. Okay, let's do the, the dice. Okay, so 9 plus 11 is 20, and I get 22. So 20 to 22. Whoops, 20 to 22. Puts him down to 6. Don't forget I can't kill him. I have to get him down to 2 or or fewer um, stamina points. Anyway, 9 plus 3 is 12. I get 19. So 12 to 19. That's uh, another one. Okay, so 9 plus 7 is 16. I get 21. So 16 to 21. Puts him down to 2 and therefore he surrenders. Okay, pick up the microphone again. I'm sorry if my voice goes a little bit quieter. It's because I have to put the microphone down. Uh, I'm trying. I'm experimenting with. I usually uh, clip it to my jumper or something, but I'm trying to experiment with holding it up to my mouth to make it a bit louder because it was a bit sort of quiet in the channel update video. So I'm trying to experiment, but I have to put it down so I can press the keys and stuff. Anyway, I only have two hands. Unfortunately, I'm working on growing some more. Anyway. Um, Right, what am I doing? Right, that's the Scarlet Prankster done. You know, if you defeat him, turn to 333. Um. Okay, here we are. There we are. Okay, you pick up the piece of paper that he was trying to destroy. It bears the emblem of fear. The message is short. Do not forget, the meeting starts at 9am. Unfortunately, it bears no more information. Okay, so... Uh, we need to... So I'm just saying meeting at 9am. Anti-meridium, which is before noon. Okay, so... I always say this, so really when it's exactly 12 o'clock noon, it's not 12 p.m. When it's 12 p.m., uh, well, when it's 12 o'clock and zero seconds, not seconds, it should be um, 12 m, not p.m. It's only 12 p.m. when it's one second afterwards, because that means post-meridian, um, which is afternoon. So at exactly noon, people should say it's 12 m. 
Anyway, that's that. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Anyway, you may add three hero points for capturing it. Oh, I haven't actually read the whole thing. The meeting starts at 9am. Unfortunately, it bears no more information, but this time could be useful to you. You carry the Scarlet Prankster down to the ground and hand him over to the police. You may add three hero points for capturing him. Now turn to 103. Um, three hero points. That puts our hero points up to five. Okay, now we're turning to 103. Where are you heading as you leave Wisneyland? Will you make your way downtown to do some shopping, turn to 202, or go home? If you decide to go home, you may either want to rest for the evening, in which case you may gain 6 stamina points, turn to 327, or you may wish to sacrifice stamina again and spend the evening at the theatre if you can get a ticket for tonight's performance of Rats, turn to 43. <clears throat> okay, we're going to rest for the evening. Um... Yeah, we're going to rest for the evening. Yeah, so turn to 327. Sorry, being a bit stupid there. Which is my natural state. Okay, 327. <clears throat> Next morning, you leave for work early. You, I, I don't need the stamina, do I? Because I haven't lost any. Next morning, you leave for work early. You are sorely tempted to leave your crime watch behind. You dare not miss another day's work. But your fears are unwarranted. To your utter amazement, your crime watch is silent. You arrive at work early. You arrive at work early. Jonah White cannot believe his eyes when he enters the office to find you hard at work at your desk. At lunchtime, you catch up on the day's news on the teletext TV. Two stories catch your attention. One is of a strange attack in Audubon Park. A woman has been seriously mauled by what she calls a monster, but a specialist at the hospital thinks the claw marks of an animal of some kind. The second story is of a man who, has, who had his chest crushed in the grounds of the Natural History Museum. There are no clues as to who or what was responsible. It is as if whatever caused the man's death simply walked away. Both incidents are being investigated by the police. You decide to do a little investigation of your own. You change into the Silver Crusader and set off to make your inquiries. Where will you head first? At the Natural History Museum, 10 to 365. Titan Zoo, 10 to 408. Or Warnham and Whaley's Travelling Circus, 10 to 4. Blimey, that is really sinister. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, and we will decide what to do in the next video because this video is coming up to half an hour and I have to be somewhere uh, very soon. In fact, I should have been there uh, two minutes ago. So I need to go now. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this part. In the next part, we will decide whether we're going to the Natural History Museum, the Titan Zoo, or Warnham and Whaley's Travelling Circus. Um, I'll just note down the, uh, the thing, just the 127. And I shall bid you adieu. So, um, goodbye and thanks for watching.